Hello and welcome. In this video I want to run through how you can create a video from a PowerPoint and Mac users I'll apologize as of the time of filming this video this feature doesn't work well on Macs from what I understand. So let's get started. The first thing I'd like to talk about is um, creating your presentation and when you create a presentation it's advisable not to put all of your notes and text and everything on your slide and then read them out to people. There's a few reasons for this. First of all, it's annoying. Second of all, it's ugly. Thirdly, research shows that people cannot focus on both your voice and text on the screen. They're going to read through your text, they're going to get they're going to try to listen to you, switch back and forth, get annoyed and disengage. The place for your notes is the notes section under here and you get to that by clicking notes right here at the bottom of your PowerPoint screen. Get in there and type away, type away. To hide your notes again just toggle it back and forth. Click, click. The next step is to test your headset and to test your headset, I'm, and this is Windows 7, go to the Start menu and type in Sound. On Windows 8, you just go to your starting page and type in Sound. Click on Sound under Control Panel, and make sure that the headset you're using is the default device. It is in this case, and then you can use the Configure menu to do a quick test. to make sure that it's working. Under recording, make sure that the microphone for your headset is selected and you can see the little green lines bouncing up and down so we've got audio happening. Click OK and you're ready to go. Now the next step is you're going to have to have your notes in front of you. Unfortunately, PowerPoint doesn't have the ability for you to look at your notes and record your audio to the presentation at the same time. Why? I don't know. They have the ability to record comments to your slides and see your notes, but not a narration. So you've got two options. You can print out your notes page or you can convert your pa page to notes and then save it to an electronic device by saving it as a PDF. How do you do that? If we go up to the file menu and we go to export, select create handouts and create handouts. You get a choice of whether you want your notes next to your slides or your notes below your slides um, and some other choices involving blank lines. Obviously those are for handing out to people in your audience. But right now we're focused on seeing our notes and I'm going to prefer it slide by slide. So I'm going to click that and I'm going to click OK. And if we look down here Microsoft Word's churning away. It automatically pops up Word and is building our handout for us. So we'll let the little wheel in the sky turn and when that's finished we click open Microsoft Word and here we can see each slide with the notes underneath it. Great stuff. Alrighty, the final step is rehearsal and practice. Unlike the tattoo artist here um, whose client now has poor grammar and spelling permanently etched into his flesh, you want to take the time to make sure that you get it right. So have a few um, practice sessions before you go for it. So here we are at our presentation ready to record our narration. What do we do? We go up to slide, the Slideshow tab in the menu and that's available if you're at the Home tab, the Starting tab, Slideshows just over this way. And we click Record Slideshow and start recording. You can choose from the beginning and obviously if this were a full slideshow, I set up some slides at the beginning to talk to, then we'd start from there. So we're going to start. So we'll start from the current slide. If I click on that, 
It'll ask if I want slide and animation timings as well as narrations and laser pointer. I want both, so I'll click Start Recording. In the record screen now, and I'll pull this down a bit, you've got this little record window here that is ticking off the time. And when you're done with your recording on one slide, you use the arrow key to progress on to the next slide. This has got animations, so I'm going to click away on those. And when I'm ready, I can go on to the next slide by clicking on the slide itself or clicking up here. And I can talk to my slides all the way through until the end. And when I'm finished, I just hit Escape. And you can see that all my slides have audio on them. Once I'm satisfied and I'm ready to export my slideshow, I go to File, Export, this time Create a Video. I can choose how large I want my video to be. It gives three options. Truly 1280 by 720 is probably as big as you want to go. And if there are slides that don't have narration, you can dictate how long they stay on screen without any narration on them. So you can go from one second up to five or ten. When you're finished making those choices, click Create Video. It'll ask you where you want to save it. We'll choose our folder. And click Save. If we look down at the bottom of the screen here, you'll be able to see that ticking away is the progress bar as the video is being created. This can take a little while, so be patient. Try not to do anything else on your computer while this is happening because it does take up quite a lot of processor power, and especially on laptops or um, older machines, um, it, can, it needs all the resources it can get. The progress bar has disappeared now, so we know that it's finished. So if we go to the folder that we elected, We can see our videos completed and we'll be able to play it. And that's all there is to creating a video from a PowerPoint.